Hey guys, I'm Sebastian. I'm Christine. This is Ninth Island Connection, but you already know that because you clicked on this thumb and you're on our channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. Take some time to look around. All we do is videos about Vegas. You're gonna love it. Hotel room tours, hotel reviews, food, activities, different areas on the strip and off strip that you can have a good time and enjoy a day outside of the casino. We do a little bit of gambling, but we're not a gambling channel. All right, and as you can see, Sebastian is really excited <laughs> about Vegas and we're excited about this video. In this video, we are here at Harrah's. We just checked in and we are going to check the whole place out and bring you guys with us to see what's new and changed or maybe what's not changed here at Harrah's. So let's get going. So if you haven't been to Harrah's in Las Vegas in a few years, it'll definitely look a lot different because this property was remodeled everywhere. The rooms, the casino, the dining establishments, lots of changes. But if you have been to Harrah's recently, it's gonna look pretty similar. So this particular mountain room was a little unusual because we've stayed in the mountain tower several times with one king and with two queens and we didn't have the closets on the side of the bed they were the closet was actually in the bathroom this is typical of the valley tower though where they have the closets next to the bed This was something new also, the little single serve coffee pots with free coffee, but still no refrigerator. Here's an example of what the other mountain rooms have looked like. For more, check out our playlist with all the room tours. As far as the casino goes, there's really not a lot of huge changes. Of course, just like all Caesars properties, they are replacing older machines with some newer machines, so that's cool. They do actually have a lot of newer, fun machines that we enjoy playing, whether we're staying there or just popping by. But again, if you haven't been here in a while, this was all remodeled not that long ago, so it's a really nice, modern looking casino. And of course, we always talk about Buffalo Grand because it's one of our favorite games. And the Caesars properties were getting rid of them, including Harrah's, but they did bring them back, thankfully. And as far as the tables go, they are busy as usual. And that's because Harris typically has lower table minimums. 
One of the more recent changes with Harrah's is the new high limit room. Now outside of it, there are slot machines that are higher limits, and then they also built this particular room. This is located right next to their sports book, which they also recently renovated. And it was in much need of a renovation and they did a beautiful job with this one. If you're looking for Buck and Winnie, Winnie Art Harris, this is the only place you're gonna find them. These are the two old slot machines in the casino area. They got rid of Buck and Winnie when they started remodeling that center bar right here and they never came back. This is the lounge. This is the new bar there in the center of Harris. This used to be the high limit room, but you know what? I really like this as a bar instead. For other bars, they have Num that you see right here. And this is gonna be those fruity drinks that you see people walking around with. In the lobby, they're gonna, of course, have their lobby bar. This is the one that's located near Starbucks and the Valley Tower. And of course, there's one right in the center of the casino. There's also one right next to the food hall area and the mountain tower elevators. The last one is gonna be on your way out the door as you're heading towards Casino Royale. This one is not open every day though. And of course, there's the very popular piano bar. This is where you're gonna find the entertainment. They have got karaoke, they've got Big Elvis that you see right here, always a good time. And they also have dueling pianos in the evenings. One of the cool things about this is that although it gets pretty crowded in here, it's very popular, you can still catch the music from just outside of the bar because they've got big openings that you can watch through. And then of course, there's a very popular carnival court. This is right in between the Link and Harrah's. They do have live music, they've got a big bar there, and you know what, it always looks like a fun time. All right, aside from alcohol, let's get into the other food and beverage options. There's a Starbucks when you first come in when you're crossing by Carnival Court. There's also a newly renovated Starbucks over by the Valley Towers and the Lobby Bar area. Harris is typically more grab and go. They have this big, beautiful food hall that they renovated a few years ago with a variety of options. However, they're not always open, um, but you can pretty much guarantee that there'll be pizza, Bobby's Burgers, and then their little um, breakfast sandwich, lunch sandwich, sweets area. Those are typically the three that are always open and the other ones are hit and miss. And then of course, a few years ago, Buddy V's pizza cake came in along with the cake vending machine. This is a nice place to grab a quick bite. And then the rest of the restaurants are more expensive like Ruth's Chris Steakhouse, which is a little pricier. And then of course, there's Kitchen by Gordon Ramsay, which opened I believe about a year ago. This replaced the Oyster Bar, which really never opened after COVID.
Now on the second level, you have walk-ons. This is more of a sports bar restaurant, kind of pricey, and this replaced Toby Keith's restaurant. They did put in a new juice bar splash, which is similar to the one that's over in Flamingo. Again, that's on the second floor next to Ben and Jerry's. And there's also a smaller essential store right over here by where you can access the pool. There's also an essential store off of the casino up front and in the lobby area. As far as retail, there's really no changes at all. They still have the same little shops over by the lobby registration area. When it comes to entertainment, Tape Face has moved over to MGM, but you still have Donny Osmond, X Country, and Menopause the Musical. The biggest change overall is the complete renovation of the valet area. This was shut down for quite a while, but it's now open and they did a really nice job. All right, guys, so you can see that there's not a ton of changes happening at Harrah's if you've been here recently. Now, if it's been five or more years, then Harrah's is gonna look like a different property. They did a really great job with renovating this place, and it's just a really fun atmosphere. With all these recent renovations, it seems that they're pretty much done, and Harrah's will probably stay like this for a while. I mean, I'm not sure what else they would really do. All right, guys, that's a wrap on this one. As always, we want to hear from you. Let us know in the comments below what you think about Harris. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Have you been? Will you go? Now that you've seen that it's been renovated and all the great changes they've made, let us know in the comments below. Thank you again for watching this one. If this is your first time here, go ahead and subscribe. All we do is bring you Vegas. Like this video and check us out on social media. We're on Instagram, we're TikToking, we're threading, we're snapping, we're Ninth Island Connection, we're everywhere. We also go live every Wednesday, typically between noon and 1 p.m., where we bring you an update on what to expect that upcoming weekend. And we're talking weather, traffic, construction, events, everything going on that weekend so that you can have the best possible time. four hours a day, seven days a week in a city that never sleeps, Ninth Island Connection will take you there. You won't want to miss a beat as we give you a sneak peek inside the biggest, best, and most outrageous hotspots both on and off the strip. Be sure to tune in to Ninth Island Connection with Sebastian Rodriguez every week. Great people, great stories, great connections, only on Ninth Island Connection.